Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to reset your pass, your enable password on the Cisco ASA 5505. Now, if I go to Cisco's website, uh, they've got it all laid out for you. Now, obviously, here's the weird URL if you need it. But basically, you power off your appliance, turn it back on. During the boot up process, you want to press Escape, and that'll get you in the ROM on. And then we're going to change the register so that we can get in there um, and skip the startup file, which would have the password. And then once we get in, then we can load the startup file because we're already past the password part, and we can make changes. So with PuTTY open, here's where we're at. So, you know, I go to Enable. I try my password, Cisco, and it doesn't work. So I'm like, oh, okay, what do I do? So again, first thing you want to do is you want to power cycle the router. You can either hit the reset or you can just plug in the power like I'm doing now. And give this a second and then just hit escape. And see how it says boot interrupted. Now I'm in ROM mon mode. So once you're in ROM mon of the router, and again, don't be afraid to hit escape a couple times during the start process if you can't find it. So I'm going to move this. So next it says um, type in confreg. C O N F R E G. That missed the C. Now, do you wish to change the configuration? The answer is yes. Now, for all other questions, it's no except for one, and I'll show you. So I can just hit enter because I just want to accept the defaults. Default, default, default. Default. Now, disable system configuration. This is the one where you want to hit yes. So we want to disable the system configuration. Everything else, I'm just pressing the enter key. And let it load. All right. All right, so what we did is basically now it tells you what to do for each question. And now we're up to eight. So if I grab this back, so now I'm here at eight. Now they want you to boot. So now I can boot it without the system configuration. Now it's loading the iOS. Okay, so now you can see that I'm back in the router, and you can see the prompt has changed now to Cisco ASA. Now, this is a default config that they have on there when you don't run a system config. So now I can just enable, and the password thing comes up, but the password is blank. So if I just hit enter again, um, now I'm in. So now I want to uh, follow the pronoun up here. here to step 11, so I'm going to scroll this up a little bit so you guys can see this. So they want me to copy start run which basically now what we're doing is we're taking that configuration that we skipped that's sitting in startup and now we're going to load that into the ram and that's what we're going to work off of um, so copy start run then hit enter all right so now the startup configuration is back and this is the one that has the password that is screwed up but we bypassed the startup so we got past that password so now i can do a config t get into my terminal and now the only, here at step 13 they give you a couple different passwords and things you can do I just want to change the enable password so I'm just going to do you know enable password Cisco and now my enable password should be set now um, you also want to change your config register back so that it does use um, the correct startup or your uh, system configuration next time because we change that so it's config register now to set it so it boots normally it's 0 x 1 0 0 1 1 so config dash register space 0 x 1 0 0 1 1 hit enter okay now that's set now I want to make sure that I save my new running to start so I'm going to save my run to start all right, why are you letting me do stupid stuff? It's copy, run, start. And that'll copy this over to the starting. And now I'm set. So if everything worked fine, I should be able to reboot the router, and then I should be able to use the password Cisco to get past the enable. All right, so I, I'm sorry, I missed this here on a key. So uh, I typed in reload. I'm going to confirm with the reload. Now it's going to shut down the route or the, the ASA. It's going to reboot. And once it's done, I should be able to get into the enable uh, by putting my password Cisco or whatever you set your password to.
All right, so I enable password Cisco, and boom, I'm in. Now I can do config T, get into my stuff. Now, one thing I want to note out, oops, full out, on the Cisco site itself, what they tell you to do is to use the value that was already in here from step five. So back here to step five, um, when you booted up the router, it should have gave, given you what your register already was. Now the problem with this is if somebody screwed up the register so it's already going to skip the startup file, um, you'll always skip the startup file. So you can change the password now and everything will work, but if it ever lost power, it would then skip the startup file and your changes wouldn't be there. So that's why I use the, the 0x10011 configuration register um, and I skip what Cisco says on my site because again um, here in class with so many people using these firewalls um, and so many retards out there that want to change the configuration register to kind of screw you up, put you behind, um, it works a lot better. Alright, so that's it. Thanks a lot.